This is a sample from our exam 70-741 training on ITDBDs.com for complete training including practice tests, chapter tests, movie tests, flashcards, offline access, mobile apps. Please go to ITDBDs.com. So by default, we've got our two Active Directory partitions that we can use for DNS, and that defines how it's replicated. Well, let's say we've got 10 domain controllers, and we only want maybe this particular zone we're creating to be replicated to two different domain controllers but we still want it to be Active Directory integrated, well, we can create our own custom Active Directory partitions. So let's say these zones are going to be for our QA department, quality assurance. I can use DNS CMD slash create directory partition quality assurance if I want, or with PowerShell, I can use the add dash DNS server directory partition, specify the name of it. I'm gonna call it quality assurance, so I'll go ahead and create it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it. There it is. So let's take a closer look at these here. I'm just gonna pipe this to a format list. And down here, you see we got our three. We've got a replica. This specifies which domain controllers this Active Directory partition is replicating to. And here we can see DC02, and it's kinda hard to see, but DC01. So it's that's both of my domain controllers. And same with this one, but this new partition we created, we created on DC01. So you can see it's just on DC01 right now. We would have to add other domain controllers in order to get it to replicate. And we do that by actually registering the domain controllers. And we'll take a look at that in a second. But first, let's go ahead and create a zone that will live in this quality assurance directory partition. So we can do it with DNS CMZ, zone add, maybe I want to call it mainoffice.org here. It's a domain services primary. The directory partition is quality assurance. So that's how to do it with DNS CMD. I'm gonna do it with PowerShell, add that as DNS server primary zone, specify the name. I'm gonna call this one example.net for my zone. Replication scope, this time it's gonna be custom. And here we're gonna specify the directory partition. It's gonna be our quality assurance directory partition. And that's it. So now this particular zone, if we take a look at it, Let's go ahead and refresh. There it is. It's only going to live on DC01 right now. It's not going to live on DC02 unless we register D DC02 with that quality assurance Active Directory partition. Go ahead and refresh and take a look. And you can see it's not there. There's no example.net. So let's go ahead and register DC02. Let's open up a Another PowerShell prompt, enter PS session DC02. And we're going to run the register dash DNS server directory partition, specify it minus name, quality assurance. Okay, and that's complete. Now let's run the get dash DNS server directory partition commandlet. And I'm actually going to pipe that to format list. Okay, uh, replication hasn't occurred yet, not enlisted. So let's go ahead and run that command again. And there it is. So now DC02 and DC01 are both in the replication scope of that directory partition. So now let's go up here and let's refresh. And there it is. So this is very useful if we need to replicate certain zones to just certain domain controllers and we want it to be Active Directory integrated.